Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. And my favoritist, in favoritist is a word I just made up in my head. My favoritist sling is here for its one year review. And I think I can just say bluff right up front. This thing is worth it. All right, so back at it again with my one year review of the nut sack sling bag. In this specific case, I have the nut sack morale sling. Shout out to nut sack for sending this out for me to check out. Now the first nut sack sling that I had, I bought that with my own money. I have since sold that, it is gone. I have the morale sling now. They are the same thing, a $10 difference in price if you do wanna have some loop paneling in the front so that you can put your ranger eyes your patches maybe you have some identification for medical needs you need to put on the front of your sling whatever the case may be you can kind of do that with this front additional area bottom line up front we talked about this just a second ago do i recommend the nutsack sling bag whether it's the regular one if it is the morale sling the answer is yes so if you need to go ahead just click the link in the description it's an affiliate link no additional money for you kicks back some for for the channel make your purchase going about your day but if you want to know what i liked about this thing over the past year then stick around because this thing has a lot of features in it that are very very surprising so let's just talk about some of the features of the bag and i want to make sure i get this accurate so i'm going to read a couple specs off their website because i've had it so long that they kind of just fade away into obscurity and i use it very very often this is a 5.2 liter bag it is three inches in width all together all together, it's 11 and a half inches in length, eight inches in width. And then we got about 1.7, one pound, seven ounces when completely empty. It doesn't feel that heavy. I guess one pounds does make sense. 18 ounce wax canvas. I don't know what that means. Just know it's wax canvas. I know that the wax canvas comes from the, the Northeast part of the country. And I know it's water resistant. It's not waterproof. I've had the nutsack sling bag out in the rain for an extended amount of time. None of my stuff inside got wet. But was I nervous? Was I thinking about it? Yes, I was. Because technically, wax, you know, wax canvas is cotton dipped and waxed, I guess, to a certain weight. I don't, I don't know. It's just 18 ounce wax canvas. It does have internal Molly panel, which we'll talk about there here in a second. It has a detachable strap, which is one of the positives that we'll go over in the pro section as well you can also take that detachable strap make it for left-handed carry right-handed carry just makes it very easy you can also attach accessories to it which you'll see i have here and it has full grain leather accents so the strap itself on the very top of the bag has the leather accents the pool tabs have leather accents the logo is a leather accent so leather accents throughout has a lifetime guarantee and i've Tested the lifetime guarantee with Nutsack. I have their Nutsack double admin pouch. It started to rip it to seam. I let them know. They took care of it immediately. So feel really good about that. And those are the big features about it. Now you can get this in different colors. I have the wax canvas. You can get it in, I think they have a blue and a black. And I'll check the link in the description for all that type of stuff. But what are some things that, let's talk about practical use of this. And then we'll talk about pros. We'll talk about cons and we'll talk about what are our recommended practical use of this. This is truly an everyday carry type of sling bag. This is almost a purse. This is almost the male equivalent of a purse. Ladies, if you want to carry this as a purse, you probably could do that. This thing just kind of neatly carries your day. The actual morale patch, the looping panel on the front, it's a nice addition to have. I don't need it. I would only use it if I had my daughter with me and there was an EpiPen inside. If I was using this as a med, a med kit, you know, I might want to put some patches on there for that. If you like Ranger Eyes and stuff, then you have the ability to throw on those extra items that give you that type of morale right here on the front. The, the, and then that the loop paneling almost goes the entire eight inches in width of this bag. So we're really calling it about six inches and about two inches of plenty of width for you to throw all sorts of stuff on the front. Now, my favorite part of the bag is that it has four zippers, meaning when this bag is on your body, you can access your items by unzipping either one of those zippers from the very bottom, which means you don't have to flop this thing all the way open to see what's inside. It can be carried left or right-handed. Right now I have it in backpack converter mode, which is my favorite way to carry the nutsack. 
sling bag, but this costs an additional, I think it's 40 or $50 on their website. Totally worth it for me. It, this makes it get out of my way even more now. It no longer slaps me in the back of my grape whenever I'm doing everyday type of task. But if you do want to convert this back from either a mode that it's in, you simply take this off. You attach the, you detach these hooks from the very bottom. And now it's just the naked, it goes from a sling bag to just a bag. And now you can do stuff like this. If you want to pack this and use this as a packable bag to go inside of some luggage, which I've done, you can do that. You can use this, strap it to something else. I like the fact that it kind of gets out of your way and just becomes a big old pouch, for lack of a better term. And it just kind of wears and starts to gain its own age. Now, the original actual sling that comes with it, I have here. And when you attach this, you're just basically deciding, are you going to attach this to go over your left shoulder? Are you going to attach this to go over your right shoulder? And that's really just a preference for um, if you're right-handed or left-handed. So however you want to be able to access the items from the inside can easily be changed out based on how you have the sling. I like to be able to access the items with my right hand. So I have the sling always prepared for me to be in right hand mode. So now I can get inside pretty easily. And then when I sling it back, sling kind of just gets out of the way and it becomes a traditional sling bag, which is pretty nice, pretty easy, good to go. If you wanna quickly detach it, you can just come down, detach this from the bottom and you could take it off. That's if you don't feel like throwing it over your head, which is normally I'll just throw it over my head. But if you don't wanna have to do anything like that, you may, you're wearing some big hat or something like that. You have some hair you don't wanna mess up. Then you can just detach it by simply grabbing the D-ring and detaching it. So this is very ambidextrous, it's very left-handed friendly, which may be good for you guys to know. So you have the leather accents on the actual sling that comes with it. And, and, and granted, guys, I carry the sling mode for nearly a year. I just got the backpack conversion about two months ago. So it's about 10 months of sling mode. And since I've got the backpack conversion, I've had it in backpack mode ever since. I love the backpack conversion, but you may want to be able to have it as a traditional sling for you, whatever works for you. Now, I have used this thing as all sorts of different ways, uh, talking about practical use and practical ways to carry it. Mainly for me, it is an everyday dad type of bag. So I'm using this for diapers. I'm using this for wipes. I'm using this to go to the grocery store. Whenever I ride a one wheel, any of my electric vehicles, a scooter, anything like that to the store, and I know I'm only grabbing one or two items, this is normally that's something that's coming with me because I can throw a half a gallon of milk in here, some bacon, some biscuits, the, the few things that where I'm tasked like, hey, X, run to the store, grab some stuff for us for breakfast. We're missing this. We're missing that. And we need you to grab some stuff so we can have it for breakfast. So, I mean, backpack mode is my favorite mode because it feels the most secure, but if behind backpack mode, it's completely strapless. I love it that way. And then obviously having it as a sling bag is something to think about. Pricing, 200 bucks. 200 bucks for the morale sling. If you want it without the morale, it's 189. The, the other color deviations, I think they're 189 as well. So we start to think to ourselves, where does that put this sling? That's in a premium category where you are up there with some of the Huckleberry type of stuff. Some of the stuff from like Wingback, some of the stuff from Chrome Industries is up there from Vertex, Nutsack themselves. And this is competing with those big boys. When I bought the first one, it felt icky checking out. I didn't have a big, I didn't have a big relationship with Nutsack. I had bought a duffel bag, which I was using a lot. And I had bought an admin pouch and I was using the duffel bag as a gym bag, but I wasn't using it every single day. So I kind of started feeling like I felt weird checking out with this thing the first time. But when I got it and I started to use it, I realized I made a great choice for practical use cases. The very front, there is one just large pocket in the very front of the bag. And here you can put whatever you want. I normally would just keep my, a key fob and normally the hero clip that I use to hold this entire bag, instead of leaving it clipped to the actual strap of this bag, I normally throw the hero clip inside the bag itself. Um, that's just for my preference. And when it's actually time to hang this bag from a surface, I take the hero clip out, I, hang, I grab it, put it on the loop or whatever. Other stuff that goes in the very front of this thing for me personally, for how I carry it, I like to put headphones in the front of this. 
I will also put stuff like if I want to get my wallet out of my pocket, I'll put my wallet in the front of this thing. And then if I have my keys to my truck, so right now I have the key to my wife's vehicle in here. But normally if I have the, once I get to the store that I'm at, instead of putting this key in my pocket, I will normally put the key to my truck in here. If I'm wearing sunglasses, I'll put the sunglasses in some type of slip and put that in the very front. So getting inside this, it's not really a full clamshell opening. As you can kind of see that it stops, the zipper stop right here for full clamshell. I guess you would have to be able to go all the way down, but you can peel this thing back pretty far to get inside. Now, inside of here, I have a right in the rain pad. So if there's nothing in the inside pocket, then it folds down pretty far. But this is what this looks like when it's folded down and you can kind of access your gear and decide what you want to load up, what you don't want to load up. So the only way to really fold this down like this is that this pocket needs to be empty. Otherwise you won't be able to do this. But only time I really am doing this is when I'm fully loading it out or fully taking the kit or taking everything out of the bag itself. So depending on how you want to use everything inside is really going to be up to you. I usually keep just things that I use pretty often inside of here. I keep my Wubin light at the very bottom. I try to keep empty. So you see, I have things that are morale almost to the very uh, bottom for the morale patches or the uh, not morale, but the actual Molly patch, Molly strips. I have those almost going all the way down. I usually will leave a little area at the very bottom just in case I want to put a light. If I want to put a med kit, if I want to put a Hank, whatever I might want to put down there. If I'm carrying glasses, I'll have that stuff down there ready to rock and roll. So here I do have a Benchmade sock P fixed blade knife that kind of just sits here and it's 440C steel. It's a decent nice to have knife to have for self-defense. Right up in front of that, I have a Zippo, which of course I'm a cigar smoker. So if I need to go somewhere and I need an actual uh, Zippo lighter, I have that with butane insert. So that's there. Next to it, I have a tactile turn dark matter pen that goes with that right in the rain notebook I just pulled out. These are the type of items I'm comfortable with keeping directly on the Molly. And because I'll access these pretty quickly, if I need the self-defense item, I, I have the, the knife. I want to be able to access my uh, lighter, etc. I've talked about my Roaring Fire Smolder power. I've done an entire video on this. I'll link that up for you guys to check out. I do have a couple of dorky REs on the front of this just because, you know, I do. One of these is a flashlight RE to kind of let someone know if, if they come in the bag. I do have an R, a flashlight or it reminds me to put a flashlight in here. The very front of the Smolder has a pocket. And I'm not going to go over everything that's on the inside, but one thing I'll show you about having the smoter attached to the bag like this is it allows for me to open it up and access these things that I need from inside, get whatever I want to. So I always have a flashlight in my pocket, but if I want a more powerful flashlight or if I'm missing something specifically, I can go inside the smoter. Just picked up this new Nikkor EDC33. This thing has been freaking impressing the crap out of me. Might even do a full review video over this. More to come on that. But that way I can get inside this smoter pouch, get whatever I need to, flop this open, get whatever I need to out the very back of it. And it just kind of gets out my way. If I want to unload it, kind of see how I did here, I can. If I want to move this Wubin light to the inside, I don't even know if it fits in here. Oh, it does. Nice. So if I want to move this Wubin light to the inside, which I wouldn't do because I want quick access to the Wubin, but I could easily put it inside this smoter and then fold all that back up. But we'll take this Wubin light back out. Normally in here, I keep a battery bank and for quick charging purposes. But taking this actual smoter pouch out, I'll show you what the rest of the Molly looks like. So you do have a decent amount of Molly that you can use. So you have five different slots that you can use. One complaint that I have that for my first Nutsack sling bag that I had, is it took a while to work these to get them to a point where I, they were very usable. After I had it for a few months and I worked it out, I was able to put a full-size Leatherman uh, multi-tool in here. Not a mud, but like a wing bag, uh, uh, a Wave Plus. You know, so you can start to fit those type of items in here. But when you first get the bag, this Molly is not going to be really stretched. So it's not going to be worked out that great. And you're going to have to really work it and carry the bag and allow for it to begin to, to, to age itself and to begin to mold itself. The more you carry the bag, the better it becomes. So that's one thing I learned as well. The Nutsack logo is on the inside of the bag, very subtle um, versus putting it on the outside. So you can use this in a semi-professional environment if you want to versus having the word Nutsack on the outside. And so 
but it's a very simple bag nonetheless. Some other practical use cases here. I have my iPad Pro. I could take my entire iPad Pro, which is something I would do pretty often. Even with the Smoter pouch in here, I can take my iPad Pro and I normally wouldn't have to take the Smoter pouch out, but I can stick this in here and I'm good to go. But that also gives you a use case for what this cannot do. I'm showing you what this can do with an iPad Pro. It can't fit anything like a, a, a computer in it. Matter of fact, I'll get a 13 inch laptop. Let's see if we can make that work. So like this is a 13 inch MacBook Air and could I stuff it in here? Not really. It's bottomed out, yeah. It's bottomed out, it's not gonna close. So it can't fit, the best you're gonna do is an iPad Pro, maybe a Samsung tablet, some other type of tablet. If you have like a, an 11 inch computer, 12 inch computer, I don't know who has those, then you might be able to fit that in there, but you're not gonna fit a 13 inch, Never. you're really not gonna fit like a 14 inch or bigger computer in here, anything like that at all. Some pros about the bag. First off, I love the wax canvas. I'm a, wa a wax canvas fiend. It's pretty water resistant. For me, it's been waterproof. I'm saying from my personal experience, their website doesn't purport for it to be waterproof, but it's been a great experience for that. This thing looks fire. This is subjective. I think it looks amazing. No matter what I'm wearing, if I'm wearing flannel type stuff, even if I'm wearing some more stuff, to, if I have to physically go to work, I have no issue with grabbing this. I might strip off the actual patches and kind of wear it a little bit more naked, but it looks good in almost every different scenario. It just looks really, really good. It has this historical charm to it. Something about wax canvas gives me like this historical charm, makes me feel like I'm really more connected with things around me. Now it's wax canvas. You have to clean it. Eventually, if you if you wear it enough, you take it in elements enough, it may need to be re-waxed. So if you don't want to have to worry about those type of things, look at the regular nutsack sling bag versus this one. So we'll take this off and talk about some of the cons that I'm not a big fan of. One con about the bag is I do kind of wish these these D loops or these sling these hooks down here. I'm glad that they exist. But the bag is a little noisy when it comes to these, the metal on metal action down here. Like once this is attached and you're kind of walking, you're moving, the bag makes a little bit of noise. I was in a haunted house, had the bag on. I was wearing it in a sling mode instead of backpack mode. And I was that guy making noise. Like, what's that noise? What, what noise do I hear? I was making noise because of the actual metal on metal contact. So once I put it in backpack mode, I had no issues with it whatsoever. It's kind of pricey. I don't have a direct comparison. I'm trying to think, do I have any comparisons where another, I mean, I'm talking about at least five liter wax canvas sling comparison. Comment down below if you do have a comparison, but it's, I mean, it's $200. That's a, that's a pricey boy, but this is made in America with America products. Uh, it, the, the canvas is coming from the Pacific, or excuse me, coming from the Northeast. The leather is coming from the Pacific Northwest. I think the only thing that's not from America is the YKK zippers, which this has YKK zippers throughout, which the Japanese are known for their YKK zippers. So I think that's that's the only thing that's not coming from the States. Handmade, hand sewn here in the States, very well done as well. So another thing is I do wish it did do a full clamshell opening. It is easy to navigate, but I have to actively remember to make sure I take everything out the front pocket, everything out the inside pocket. And the only time I'm fully opening this, this thing up like this is when I'm com completely loading it, completely unloading it. Other than that, for the most part, it's on my chest or just literally getting set up like this. And I'm just kind of opening it up and going inside for what I need. So, you know, that's something to think about as well. Another thing is that for Gen 2 of this bag, as much as I like the actual Molly and you can hook stuff to it, I think I would be prefer to have a full loop panel on the inside. There's way more accessories I can attach on the inside. A lot of companies are going with that where you can do a full loop panel and just buy the accessories that you want and kind of stick stuff where you need them to be versus having to be forced to stick stuff in here. Gen 2, I think I would love that. Also, I would love that the interior was a different color. Now, this, of course, is, you know, all one same material, but if there was a way to color the interior, like a dark black color, I don't need it to be a high-vis. You can have a high-vis, but this bag is so small. I don't need high-vis. 
But I would like an offsetting color, like a blue. I know some of your competitors are doing it, and I would like to see that in this bag as well. Because this bag does give off the feeling of being rugged, a lot of times, especially when I'm out and about, I put this bag on the ground. And so if the bottom was twill, I think that would be better. So this the entire bag seems to be made out of the same grade of cotton, same grade of wax canvas. And I've seen some other competitors where they may have one material for the entire top of the bag and then the very bottom of the bag is something different. I think that would be cool for this bag to have something a little bit different, mainly because this bag does invite you to just kind of toss it on the ground and use it and it's not that big of a deal, um, et cetera, et cetera. But those are the few cons. My pros are like out of this world. I, like I said, I think it looks good. It, it feels good. Would I buy it over and over again? Yes, I would. This is something I'm a big fan of. I love me some nutsack sling bags. This is my number one recommended bag when it comes to folks that are trying to up their sling game. They maybe started off with a Tom Tock or Inatech, a cheaper alpaca, something like that. And they're like, hey, what is kind of like my end game sling? This is an end game sling ish, but it could be, especially with the padding in the back. It's just so well thought out. Comment down below. Is this something that you would get? Is this something that you've been thinking about picking up? Have you already picked it up? And there's some things that I missed about it. I would love to know what your comments down below. If this is your first time stopping by, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is not your first time stopping by, well, thank you once again for watching me run my grape. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.